Welcome back to Learning Partners. So in this video, we are going to see what are events in JavaScript. So earlier, what we have seen, like how do we create the variable? How do we create the functions and operators? In the last three episodes, we have seen all that. So in this episode, we are going to focus on how we create events. Let's say various events are there. So I will just show you the task I have. So you can see where are various tasks are there considering event. So you, as you can see, we have a click button right once i click on it i get the alert pop-up so this is nothing but on click of this button i'm showing the alert pop-up and in that i'm printing hello javascript now second task on you can see if i'm print if i'm adding two number over here and then adding two number here and once i click outside you can see result is getting printed over here let's change it back let's make it five and if i click away if i press enter so you can see five into five uh, 25 means we are uh, doing the uh, multiplication of text box 1 and text box 2 and uh, assigning the value into text box 3. Third task is key down. Once we press any key, I should get the alert box. See, I'm pressing the any key from that keyboard, I will get the alert box. So this is also event that is key down. This was blur event. This was click event. Now we have a drop down. So drop down supports change event. Because in drop down we have multiple options, right? So at a time only one option will be selected. So that is why it is a change. If one option is selected, we are changing that option. So that is why change event is there. So if I select mango, you can see mango is getting displayed over here. If I'm changing papaya, so you can see it is displayed. Next is simple example calculator. So we have two text blocks. Let's say I'm putting two and three over here. If I click on plus button, you can say addition is getting over here. If I say minus, minus one, two minus three, that is minus one. If I say multiple, you can see two into three, six are there. If I say divide, 0 0.66 something is there. So this is the simple calculator. Again, we have the same click event. So on button win, you can say button one clicked. On button two, you can see button two click. On button three, button three clicked. So different pop-ups are visible. Last one is address generator. So let's say 199. That is my plot number. Let's say city, Pune. Let's say MAH, Maharashtra, pin code, double four double zero one five or two. Near Grand Plaza. So now if I click on create full address, you can see whole address is getting generated with comma separated values. So everything what you have seen here, this is possible using events like on button click on text box value change on drop down change like this okay so we are going to see in detail what kind of events and what is the function the role has to play in it so let's go back to our code let me just maximize this now first we have to design the page also now so now let's try to first create a simple button and on that button we want to show some pop-up so i will create a button let's add some class this is a bootstrap class and button name will be show alert so what do i have to do on click of show alert i need to show the pop-up Let's change color. On click of show alert, I should I should be able to see some pop-up and in that pop-up, I will show some text. So for that, on this button, this is a button, so we it will be click event. So on, but what operation we are going to perform on button, we can just click it, right? So we have event that is on click. So there are some predefined events on the JavaScript that we only have to use that. So you can see it is suggesting on click equal to on click equal to double quotes in that double quotes we have to call our function so let's say we create a function over here first function show alert round bracket curly bracket and inside that we will write alert and inside that we will pass some string btn clicked okay 
Now we need to call this function on this button click. So for that, we need to add this function over here along with round bracket. So this is a simple way to write the event. So what we have did, we have added an event that is on click. And on click of this button, we are calling this function. So if I save this and if I click on this button, you can see I get the pop up. So this is just the simplest example we have when we are uh, trying to understand the events in JavaScript, right? So we have seen click event. Like this click event, we have double click event also. This is a single click event, but like this, we have double click event also. Show alert or let's name it as double. So here, just like on click, we have on double click also. on dbl click this is the event now see the second button that is double okay now if i click over here see i have click but nothing happens if i click on the show alert we have on the show alert button we have just normal click event so if i click one time i'm getting the pop-up but now same function i have called on the first button also but i'm if i clicked over here i'm not getting that but if i click two times then i'm getting the button pop-up so because the event is on double click, D DBL. So that is uh, just the short name for double click. Okay, so this is on double click. So like that, if you need an if you need something uh, that your requirement is like if user clicked twice, then only you need to do something. So you, you can use the double click function. So this is click event. Now using click event, let, uh, let's just uh, apart from click event, we have some more events also. So after click event let me just wrap this inside a row column so click button will go inside this first call now in second column i will create a drop down so select inside that i will have option value or let it be value something select okay so let's add a class that is form control now this is going to be the drop down for cities so let's say pune mumbai this will be nagpur so now on click of this we need to once we change sorry not click once the drop down value change we need to show something okay so for that this was a button so we had to write that click event and the double click event but this is a drop down so on drop down we have to write on change event so you can see on change is there on draw city change round bracket so now we have to call this we have to create this function first so again in script section function my function name round bracket curly bracket enter so now what is happening once we change the drop down now then this function will get triggered so i'm just printing city change change okay let's save so you can see if i change if i select any option if i select mumbai you can see city changes alert is visible but if i again select mumbai i'm not getting it because value doesn't get changed drop down value is the same and the event is on change if the drop down value gets changed then only event will trigger so if i'm selecting nagpur you can see again i'm getting the pop-up right so this is on change event let's do the next event now next event is on six text box some mouse events are also there so i will show you the mouse event now so let's say we have a h3 over here okay i'm writing it here over on me now so you can see one hover is uh, some h3 is there now i need to write an event where i will be displaying 
I will be calling one function on this hover event. Once I mouse over on that, I need to call this function. Means when I'm when once my mouse pointer is on this H3, I need to call one function. So for that, we have on mouse enter. Okay. So on mouse enter is my event. Now I need to call the function on H3. So this is simple function I'm creating on S3. Let's create this function. My function name, round bracket, curly bracket, enter. So here I will be printing just console.log. I, I am on H3. Let's save and check. Now see, in the console, we don't have anything. But as soon as I hover on this, you can see one console log is there. How many times so you can see counter is getting increased right so this is event which is on mouse or mouse enter if I, I if i'm leaving the mouse means currently i'm on the on that h3 section but when i leave again i need some console so on mouse leave event is there on leave h3 so let's create this function Again, function, function name, round bracket, curly bracket. So here I will, I will be printing that I am hi, I am leaving, leaving S3. So let's see now. If I'm hovering on that mouse, hi, I, hi, I am on mouse, hi, I am on S3 got printed. But if I leave the S3, you can see leave is getting printed. So how many times I can do that? See, console is getting printed means once I am keeping the mouse on that element, mouse over get mouse on mouse uh, enter will event will trigger. Once I am removing that mouse from that particular element, mouse leave event is going to trigger. So these are the events like that. Okay. So let's see the next event. Again, let's say call six. Now I'm creating a text box. Input type text. Now let's see so if you see currently if once i click on this text box this text box get activated so this is focusing means my current focus is in this text box so i need to write event when user focused on this text box right so for that we have event like on focus right so on text focus let's create this function so this is an event on this event i'm calling this function so let's create the function on focus round bracket curly bracket enter so here i will be printing something log text is active okay now let's save if i type here you can see text box is active is printed again if i say See, whenever I'm typing and clicking away, whenever I'm clicking, that console is getting printed. So when this is when my text box get activated, means user in user is in my text box, right? But if he leaves that text box, that is a blur event. So on another event that is on focus out. On blur means once user entered into this text box this event will get triggered but once user leaves that text box this event will get triggered so on leave text let's create this function function so this is a combination of event and the function on the html side we write event and on that event we call the function so that function we have already covered in the last episode that we are going to use in this topic so let's write console.log I am leaving text box. So let's save and check. So once I click, you can see text box is active is there. But once I click away, I am leaving text box is there. See. See. Okay. So this is how events are working in the JavaScript. It's a very easy topic. If you understand the function, 
what you need to do you just need to write the events and call the particular function on that event so you can see on click we have called this function on double click we have called this function drop down will support only on change event on mouse over and mouse out just like that on text focus on focused and the on blur events also there now if you see the javascript now uh, there are so many example i have told you earlier but this uh, this consists document reading so that topic is remaining so in the next video we will see the combination of event function and document access also right so just to revise one more time there are so many events so if you uh, just google w3 school event javascript so there are so many events javascript events let's see yeah so these are the common events we have seen already right but there are so many events so if you just click over here see these are these number of events are there you might have seen youtube so where uh, you in youtube we have pause play button so so many icons are there so for everything we have the function when we drag something drag over drag in like focus in focus out we have change when we do the full screen right then key down key press mouse events we have already seen mouse will event when we in mouse also we have the wheeler now if we use that wheeler we have this event on scroll if we scroll then we get uh, we can get that event touch these are some event which are mainly used for the mobile devices because in mobile we don't have mouse or anything so we touch right so you can see it touch pen touch move touch start touch transition end so there are some events right so these are the various events you have in javascript you can try to go through in the w skill basic i have already covered in next video we will be covering how to read and how to access the dom elements right suppose we have a text box and i need to read the value of that text box right so that things we can do with document dot get element by id document got get element by class name and so many things are there so till then just uh, try to understand what we have seen like events in next topic we will be covering element access please do subscribe and like my videos and stay tuned